took a little tour of my husband's workshop in the garage to see if I could come up with some items to create this journaling card or to create a project that I was going to work on in my workshop today. So let's get started and I'll show you how I made this journaling card with things from the garage. My name is Peg. I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I hope you'll take a moment and subscribe. I would love to have you join me. And of course, that notification bell will let you know when I upload additional content. So what do we have here to start with? I have some paint chips from the hardware store from a recent product, a little bit of uh, copper wire from the electrical section, this electrical tape, empty bottle of finishing compound, a um, PVC pipe, some washers, little piece of rope and I found this in his garbage can. I think it came out of filters of some type. So I'm going to see if I can make a little stamp out of these. So I'm just cutting out some shapes. I'm going to glue them to the top and see if I can use them for mark making on my gel press. So I'm just randomly cutting uh, some of this out. Now, you know, it, it does uh, crumble quite a bit, so I had to um, fiddle with the little crumbles. Now for the washers, I also picked up this little piece of uh, off-cut wood in his shop, and I'm just gluing these washers down to this little piece of wood, and I'm going to try to take that out as a stamp as well. So now that I've kind of made my tools, I'm going to cut off some of this drywall tape which is another hardware store item and get to work on these paint chip cards. So I'm utilizing, I have them in shades of blue and gray from a recent project we were working on. I just laid down a layer of cold gray on my gel press. I'm utilizing the washers to stamp this edge of the styrofoam and a little bit of that drywall tape. I'm going to test it out on this 3x5 index card. And I like the way that looks. So let's pick up some of the ghost print with this blue paint chip or paint sample. Lay down a little bit more of that cold gray and I'm going to lighten it up with just a bit of white. The drywall tape. My washers. The PVC pipe for the larger circle. And let's pick up a print off of that. Now I'm not laying the whole thing down. I'm just picking it up on um, random edges on one. This one I laid completely down. This one completely down. I'm just testing and trying a little bit more of that cold gray back on this jelly plate. I'm going to try the star film. And I do like the image that that left and the washers and drywall tape. Now back in with the PVC pipe to create some larger circles. And now we're starting to get some images on those paint samples that I think I can work with. I want to add and brighten it up a bit with this bright yellow. So I'm just adding a bit here and there randomly on these chips or paint samples. And now the electrical tape. So I thought I would create just an edge with this electrical tape. So I pulled out these scissors that I had from years ago that create the scalloped edge. And I've decided that this is going to go in my embossing folder so it's not so stark. And I just use that crackle effect. And now I'm going to unpeel this tape if I can and just put a tiny edge along this card or along this paint sample. And I'll trim that up and just use the off fall for the other two cards. Just whatever, whatever happens. There, I think that works. Now let's get this trimmed up. And now our journaling card is starting to take shape. 
So I still have some of this, these paint chips or these paint samples left. So I'm just cutting them into real thin little pieces. And I'm going to lay those down just horizontally and vertically along these cards. Just to add in that depth of color. There, and now some holes. I'm going to pinch out some circles in both the grays and the blues. I thought, you know, it, it's funny because I thought here, I'll get some really tiny circles. I couldn't figure out where the little circle went. You know, I'd punch the hole and I'd never seen the little, the little circle come out. So I decided to use the negative space. Just inking around in a faded blue denim. And I'm going to lay those circles on. I like to to go with odd numbers, uneven numbers. So you can see I have five on the one card. I'm laying down three on the others. And now I decided I needed some black. I just went a little bit of black on these cards. So I'm hitting that with the washers and just a small corner. There. And now I think I'm going to take the washer directly to the card. I need to, a little more ink. And there, I like that. You know, it's kind of broken, kind of fractured circles. And I think I'll pull in some straight lines as well with a key, hotel key card. I'm just dipping the edge of that in the ink that's left over on my gel press and transferring it over to the card. Okay, so now it's starting to look better. I'm just going to clean this gel press up. As you know, I use this catch pa paper for other projects. And there I'm adding my little negative space. And I think I'll add a few of these Tim Holtz words just to finish it off. I did that on two of them. One I left unworded or unsaid, unspoken. And I just covered the back with some coffee stain paper. And I'm going to lay some of these circles on the back. Um, maybe a few of these little lines just to kind of pull the back into the front. And there's that little, these are bare samples, and there's that little bear on this one that I want to get included on one of them. I'll just trim everything up. And now I'm going to write down what I did on this card, and I'm going to tuck these inside my ID journal. So this is created from things from the hardware store I had, PVC piping, electrical tape, paint samples, just washers, random things from, from the garage and from, from the hardware store. So I hope you enjoyed. And we'll take a moment and subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you. I enjoy your comments. I enjoy your likes. And please share my channel with others as we grow together. Thank you so much for watching and bye for now.